I don't really know what this is. Okay. I think I have an adapter though. I thought I had an adapter, but... Okay, so here I have Xcode open. Is this a vertical monitor? And here you can see what this monitor actually can do for coding because yay welcome to the new episode today we're finally unboxing the new lg dual up monitor let's get to work all right first things first this is like a usb-c to usb-c cable not really sure what this one is this is an hdmi cable this would be the power cable pretty substantial power brick this one i don't really know what this is okay i think it's like a cover for something we are almost done with this side yeah i think this is for the cables as well i suppose i can just oh wait no this is the arm it's pretty heavy And then it looks like this one can rotate pretty much any direction. Now it seems like LG actually shipped me a monitor with a three prong connector, but in Norway we use the European one. I think I have an adapter though. I thought I had an adapter, but actually what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to borrow one from the lamp. So I assume the cable goes something like this. Now let's try to connect. Oh, wrong way around. I think I need to move this plant there. All right, so here's the finished setup. I took a little bit of time today to clean up the room and all the cardboard. Then I tidied up all the cables even more. I also had a bit of time to play with the monitor itself. And my first impressions are really good. However, there's a couple of things that I would like to point out. This monitor, for example, gets really, really bright. Right now I have it set to only 10% brightness and you can see how bright it is. In addition to that, I found out that it has this ambient light sensor. And when you turn off the light in the room, it will actually reduce the brightness quite a bit, which is very helpful for the eyes. The final thing I want to show you is the changes I made to my window manager to support the vertical orientation of the monitor, because previously you could only tile windows side by side. But now if you have a vertical monitor, it will allow you to tile windows vertically as well. So let me show you how it works. And also let me give you a quick demo. Okay, so here I have Xcode open, and if I try to drag the window all the way up, it will allow me to tile it in the upper half. And if I drag the window all the way down, it will allow me to tile it in the bottom half. And then finally, if I drag the window to either of the sides, it will make it full screen. So for example, left and right. And the way that works in the code, I have this function called get raw window snap rectangle which will first try to get one of the corner snap rectangles. So for example, if I take this window and I drag it into a corner, it will give you this nice uh, one quarter of the screen rectangle that you can snap into. But going back to our function here, so if you don't have any of the corner rectangles, then I made this new function that just asks, okay, is this a vertical monitor? And the way I determine that is, I just check if the width divided by height is less than one. And if that's the case, I assume that the vertical orientation applies. So here I have a new function that just gets the vertical snap rectangle. And then this is the old one, which just gets the horizontal snapping positions. And here you can see what this monitor actually can do for coding, because all these three functions fit within one page. And now I want to show you how it works when I have two screens at the same time. So first I'm going to move this monitor up like so a little bit then i'm going to open my macbook screen so on the bottom screen because it's horizontal i can drag the window to either of the sides and snap to the left or to the right half but if i put the window on the upper monitor i can then drag it to the upper half or the bottom half which is kind of cool and then if i drag it to the side it will do a full screen. So this is pretty much all the changes that I made today. And I will be testing out this monitor. Actually, I will be using it every day moving forward. 
So I will give you more detailed impressions in the following days. But for now, it's been really easy to set up. It works great with the Mac with just one cable. And for coding so far, it's been great because I can see a lot of the code at the same time. So let me know in the comments what you think about this kind of a setup. And I will see you tomorrow in the next vlog where I'll be tidying up the code a little bit more and getting the app ready for publishing on the App Store.